away and running at the fairgrounds. And a fast start for World War. The great Jersey Honey is there with Reposado a bit. Frank needs to settle. And Lady Churchill quick to join in on the action, too, as they head toward the clubhouse turn. Well, the first favorite leads from Marcelino Pedroza out to the stretch. It's World War who dictates terms to Jersey Honey, Reposado, and Lady Churchill in this leading quartet. A break of two more then to, on the outside, Percy Jaden. Toward the rail is Dreamtown and the Green Sleeves. And now they're at the five and a half. Then we trail back to Akiana's Soldier, who's running second to last. And the newcomer, Mom Dancer, trails the maiden Phillies turf here in the Sunday opener, where the pace is controlled by the odds on favorite World War, quarter and 23.82 seconds. These Louisiana Breds go past the half mile pole. It's World War, who leads by three to Jersey Honey, who's joined on the outside by Lady Churchill. Reposado bids up the near side. Percy Jaden in fifth. Followed toward the inside by Akiana's Soldier in sixth. Then we trail back to Dreamtown as they round the far turn. And the distant, uh, the very distant trailer is a Mondansor. Half mile in 48.90 seconds. World War leads for home. At the quarter pole, the longtime leader, World War. Three quarters, one minute 14.88 seconds. World War looking to finish what she started. World War leads by five. Staying on is Akiana's Soldier. Percy Jaden's a one-pace third. Lady Churchill fourth with Marcelino Pedroza drifting while clear of Akiana's Soldier's World War. World War, Akiana's Soldier. World War still drifts but just holds. World War drifted through the stretch but holds Akiana's Soldier. Percy Jaden finished third. Ready. And they're off. Southern Swag comes out swinging. Good speed from Trevelyan. Purple with the gold cap. And right there, interactive moment to close third. Harper's Delight in fourth. Fire Blasters wide. Buffy's man. Yellow Black Diamonds with the rail. And really went west trails. The state bred sprint. Southern Swag has the speed to lead for Marcelino Pedroza. It's Southern Swag who takes them into the far turn with interactive moment and fire blaster. The two in pursuit as they round the far turn just inside. Three for longs to run. Trevelyan, fourth at the rail by a length and a half. Harper's Delight, fifth coming toward the quarter pole. Better break away to toward the inside. Rafi's man who's joined by Greeley went west. They straighten. It's Southern Swag. Southern Swag coming down toward the final furlong and a half. Beats Fire Blaster by four. Interactive moment looks to battle on. Dropping back Trevelyan on the far side. Harper's Delight. That Rafi's man outpaced Greeley went west. But coming past the 16th, here's some Pedroza power with Southern Swag. Southern Swag will be a going away. Sharp winner by seven. Fire Blaster second from Interactive Moment. Harper's Delight finished fourth. All set. And they're off. Sharp starts for Mila's Gold and Nine Line Bind. Melia is right there too as they make their way toward the clubhouse turn with Santo Sanjor. It's a long odds leader, Nine Line Bind, who's joined by Birdie Call. And right there is Melia as they enter the clubhouse turn. Mila's Gold floats Aliacious wide. Blastana secures inside position. And we trail back then here in the early stages to Lil Ashley B. As these Phillies and Mares go to the back of the course, it's nine line bind, three quarters length to birdie call. Melia is a ground saving third. With Mila's gold in the white cap running in fourth, Blastana drafting in behind horses in fifth. Pedro Cotto Jr. in the race favorite, Aliacious. And the yellow silks out deep on the course, but running second to last, the trailer remains Lil Ashley B. A quarter for nine line bind, 25.19 seconds. They went past the half in 50.27. 34 to one, front runner, nine line bind. And Bertie Cole is right there poised. Three furlongs from home. It's nine line bind, tackled by Bertie Cole, who's forged ahead with Mila's gold right there waiting in the wings for Jose de Calme. Then toward the inside is Blastana looking for a gap. Aliacious is the wide out. We trail back then to Lil Ashley B, who relegated Melia to last. They've straightened three quarters, one minute, 16.21 seconds. Mila's gold's charge. Aliacious is also staying on stand side toward the inside. Blastana battles for Juan Vargas too. They fan across the course. Mila's gold has dropped back to third. Blastana drift on the outside. Aliacious, Aliacious, just the leader. Aliacious to get in beat. 
Plastana. They were well clear from Mila's goal, then Lil Ashley B. And the rough. Here comes Lovey, broke sharp. Pio Princess with good speed right there toward the inside. Here's the great talented Tepper who looks to scoot on through to battle for the lead with Here Comes Lovey who broke sharp. Pio Princess is on the speed with Palace Magic fanned wide close knit field right there toward the inside as Sweet Confusion held off the leader's heels and Vales and Vales trails as they go past the half mile pole. The opening quarter in 22.66 seconds at the three and a half. And it's Palace Magic who's up to take the lead for Deshaun Parker as they round the far turn. Palace Magic leads here by two and a half. Here comes Lovey just in second. Talented Tepper being driven to stay this pace. Sweet Confusion angles out. Payo Princess and wide. Vales and Vows last as these maiden fillies come for the quarter pole into the stretch. Half mile 46.65. Palace Magic's lead down toward the final furlong. Sweet Confusion trying to reel Palace Magic in. They come inside the final 16th with here comes lovey running in third toward the inside it's palace magic on the outside the dialed in philly sweet confusion sweet confusion for a marcelino pedroza hat trick sweet confusion has won it from palace magic a gap away here comes lovey third and payo princess finish fourth they're in the gate they're off Throw the inside, Clara Bell. Mission Bell broke sharply, as did Eclipse, who's heading out toward the front end. And Ruth with the white blinkers in tight quarters there off the leader's heels. And Ruth takes back. It's Eclipse who leads the way for James Graham from Aunt Ruth needs to settle off of heels. Kept in there by the race favorite, Mission Bell, as Eclipsed leads them out to the stretch. Pinkaboo in the orange cap. And then toward the inside is Clara Bell, who's saving ground in fifth. The newcomer Early Rose in sixth. Cece's Cowgirl is running second to last. And on debut, Mark with any trails. The maiden juvenile Phillies turf Eclipse leads at the five and a half. 24.57. For the lead part with James Graham. She's eclipsed and she's out in front of a tracking mission. Bell, who's joined on the outside by Pinkaboo, who's three deep uncovered. And Ruth is saving ground in fourth. It's a length back then to Early Rose in fifth from Clara Bell, CeCe's Cowgirl. Mark with an E remains last. They go past the half mile pole in 50.86. They enter the far turn. Eclipse continues to hold on to this lead. Colby Hernandez has on the outside, Mission Bell poised to score. Inside, three furlongs to go. It's Mission Bell who has made a move to take a short lead from Eclipsed as these two fillies come toward the quarter pole together. They're joined on the outside by Pinkaboo. Early Rose trains away in fourth from CeCe's Cowgirl who tips out. Mark with any on the far outside. Clara Bell toward the inside and Ann Ruth, the one who tailed off. They're in the final furlong and a half. Mission Bell rests the lead away from a battling Eclipse toward the inside who's fighting on with one more furlong to go. Early Rose and toward the inside is Clara Bell. Far outside, Mark with an E and CeCe's Cowgirl. But close to home with Kobe Hernandez, Mission Bell. Mission Bell gets the result from Clara Bell. CeCe's Cowgirl third and Mark with an E near the stand side. Rail finish fourth. They're in the gate. They're off. Racing one mile. Basti Blue broke sharp. Good speed from Renati, and right there toward the inside, I Like Dreaming is also vying for the lead as they head toward the clubhouse turn, where Angel Suarez sends the firster, Renati, to the top. Leads around the clubhouse turn from I Like Dreaming, and favored Basti Blue with that positional pace to track from third just off the speed. Then saving ground toward the inside is Northern Reflection, who's joined on the outside by G21 Buck. It's a break of five more then toward the inside. Run Wild with Dreams, who's running in the back half of the field, along with Chief Kimosabi, who's the second to last one, and on debut, Cosmic Train Trails. The opening quarter, 23.61 seconds, heading toward the half-mile pole. It's Renati, who's cleared off from I Like Dreaming by some eight lengths. Three-quarters length then to Basti Blue, who gallops along in third. With Northern Reflection in fourth, still a big break back there to G21 Buck from toward the inside, Chief Kimosabi. The trailers are Cosmic Train, 
And to run wild with dreams has tailed off. Half mile in 46.76 seconds. They come into this final quarter of a mile. Renati remains clear of Basti Blue by five as these maiden two-year-olds swing for the short stretch. And here comes Basti Blue, who zeroes in on Renati. I like dreaming in third. As they straighten away, it's still Renati after three quarters. In one minute, 12.67 seconds. Basti Blue drifts, tries to reel in. Renati, I like dreaming, is in a box and looks to move through toward the inside. Basti Blue, Renati, I like dreaming. Closing is on the outside, Cosmic Train and Chief Kimo Sabi. Cosmic Train, Cosmic Train has won it for James Graham. Hits the first line on top. Chief Kimo Sabi had a late bid. Basti Blue, Renati, and I Like Dreaming among those next across. And the Roth. Shipping port, Broke Sharp, One Time Gem. Maximiliano with an early bid and right there in between horses. Char's Treasure, another prominent one as they line up heading toward the clubhouse turn. Shipping port, Char's Treasure, and on the outside, Maximiliano is floated wide. And then toward the inside saving ground is One Time Gem, who's joined by Freight Train Freeman, who's just gained fourth. One Time Gem in fifth upon settling at the five and a half. Following One Time Gem, Vision of Angels is next. Then to the inside, Just Gun It, followed by Briar Jumper. It's a Branko six more to the goal room, looking high, and can I have it like that? Has dropped back to 11th at last. The quarter was 24.24 seconds, coming toward the half-mile pole. At the inside, shipping port narrowly from Char's treasure. Maximiliano will be three deep at both turns. Freight train Freeman is four wide as they enter the far turn. Then to the inside, Looking to gain ground as they round the far turn is one time gem. The half mile in 49.21 seconds. Shipping port. Right there, Char's treasure. Dropping back through the pack, Maximiliano. Freight train Freeman's at the point of attack. Just got it toward the inside. As they come for the quarter pole, Vision of Angels straightened away in fifth. At three quarters was one minute fifteen point zero three seconds. Just gonna takes the front from shipping port. Freight train Freeman between horses of Shars Treasure trying to stay on. Vision of Angels. Briar Jumper up the inside. Far outside looking high with a belated bid with the goal room. But close to home. Just gun it. Marcino Pedroza Jr. Four wins on the fairgrounds card. Just gun it one going away by six from Freight Train Freeman. Shipping port third. Vision of Angels fourth. Then Shars Treasure. Briar Jumper. Can I have it like that? The goal room. Looking high. Uh, Father back one time. Gem. And they're off. And prime interest rate. Looked like a rocket there for Brianne Culp with Fluff Point now ranging up to engage. Sharp starting prime interest rate for the run to the half-mile pole. Coach Hudson in third with Rivers raging in fourth. Gypsy Soulmate is fifth. And Oxbow Wind is caught on the far outside as they head toward the far turn. Gypsy Soulmate is now some six from the lead. With just over three furlongs to run, we trail back then to permanent detention, who's willing second to last, and L. Mike Tyson trails the maiden sprint here in the Sunday finale. The quarter, 22.52 seconds. Battling leaders coming toward the quarter pole. Prime interest rate, fluff point narrowly. Coach Hudson tips to the three path as they straighten. Looking to gain toward the inside is Gypsy's soulmate. Then we trail back to permanent detention, along with Oxbow win, Rivers raging, and... No punch yet from L. Mike Tyson here in the final round. One for long to go. It's Fluff Point. Here comes Gypsy's soulmate. Far outside, Coach Hudson. Prime interest rate battles with the rail. Still a few chances. Gypsy's soulmate. Coach Hudson. Gypsy's soulmate. Marcelino Pedroza Jr. caps off a five-win day. Four for Sam David Jr. Beat Coach Hudson home. Then prime interest rate with Fluff Point. Permanent detention.